Hey guys, welcome to HVAC Gaming, and I'm Henry, and today I'm going to be flying solo because Vince is out of town this week, and I thought to myself that I wouldn't want to keep all zero of you viewers waiting for more content until, you know, next week or even the week after, because I'm going to be gone. And so today, I was thinking, I really want to play D&D, and so I spent most of the day just, like, theory crafting some characters, until I realized that I can play in D&D, kind of with Knights of the Pen and Paper, plus one edition. This old game from, I think, 2013, 2014, something like that. And so this is basically kind of like a D&D combat simulator in some ways, but you play by yourself because you don't have friends. Or, in my case, your DM is just on vacation. So, we're just going to dive in. I did play this once many years ago, but that was a while ago, you know? I think I was like just starting in high school or something. So we're just gonna have to figure this out. I am trying to remember what's going on. So we got Mr. John, the nerd, pizza guy, always a classic. Jock, Woofy, little brother, rocker, Paris, presumably Hilton, E.T., a hipster, because we are playing D&D, Flowers, Grandma, and Miss Goldberry. I think that's the last one. Oh, Hinks. Hinks get a better view of him. Yeah, he's got that whole like neck beard thing going on. So, <clears throat> we're gonna try and make a team, but we have to start out with two chairs. So only two people so far. So, we probably need Paladin just to properly tank and pull aggro, right? That's the classic. Probably want some something about the Trinity, and then maybe pick up, I uh, it was, what was it, Mage? It is very classic, very good uh, AoE with this guy. Um, but we'll kind of figure that out. I think let's start out. Uh, let's see, so we got your cleric. Out. But, uh, okay, so we'll probably need a cleric at some point just because healing, right? And no, we don't want grandma. We want... let's get Miss Goldberry. Just cause that seems... that seems good, right? Just all of these buffs, you know how. And then we can get the AoE heal, single heal, damage, and then some nice debuffs. Yeah, let's get her. And then we need one more. So now that we have our healer, uh, maybe go for the two? Yeah, we don't have, actually have any classes unlocked. I do believe that you can unlock other classes, like shamans and warlocks and stuff. But for right now, we've only got, I guess, one, two, three, four, five other classes. So we could go warrior. What does warrior have? Warrior has AoE. <clears throat> so, tanking stuff. <sighs> Strike, and then taunt. That's kind of interesting. I think we are going to go with Paladin though, just because, you know, this seems strong. And since we are trying to pull aggro, let's get Grandma. Since I think I saw that she had. Let's see. Get her. Grandma, yeah, loud. Extra threat. It's exactly what you want. I think that, yeah, this is passive. And then we have nice little heal, shield, and then you can strike at people. So, let's just go. You can buy other chairs for like 10 gold, and eventually you can get more people, but we only have 5 for right now, so let's just get started. So is everyone ready? All character sheets are set up. Yes, let's rock on! Rock on! Come on, it's your character from the future! Yeah, that's right. Extra experience points will be awarded to those who are roleplaying, okay? Before we start, you should know that you can set the difficulty of this game by increasing slash decreasing the amount of monsters you fight. So the adventure begins now. As you wake up, you can hear the cold whispering of the wind. You can't remember anything that happened before. All you know is that you're a group of friends locked up in a tower prison for no reason at all and everyone's calling you assassins. <clears throat> While searching for a way out. You notice that the prison bars have been broken by some kind of magic. Let's get out of this place! 
As you leave the cell, you face some guards that are clearly unhappy to see you there. Oi! You're not supposed to be inside. You're supposed to be inside the cell, not outside it. God, they fucked that up. You don't want to get hurt, do you? Get back to your cell already. Huh? <laughs> you regret that. I'm not returning to that cage for no reason. Good luck. All right, so we have to kill two guards. You have to kill them all at once. Well, since we're only killing two, I think that we could beat two guards. And of course they have fucking initiative. And I have no skills, right, because I'm level one, so this was actually just the op- Well, exactly what we wanted to do. So we're just gonna- Yeah, we don't even have this item. Okay, so we're just gonna punch him in the face. A few times. And because... Our cleric has HP stealing, because that's Goldberg's ability, right? Yeah, know how. Alright, so we're just gonna hit this guy in the head. We're gonna hit that guy in the head. Yeah. Just like the caveman era. And there we go. Three gold. Alright. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, you can rest up using that, but I think... Yeah, Granny should be fine. Uh, sound the alarm. Oh shit, I forgot, I forgot to read these aloud. Oh, the alarm! I think we should sneak past the next guards. Roll dice. Nice roll! You sneak past the other guards while everyone is too busy looking for you. As you reach the first level of the tower, a strange man covered in a dark cloak is waiting for you on his horse-drawn wagon. We shall leave this place for now. Hurry up! I don't know who you are, but we'll have to trust you for now. Strange guy rode with you to Default Village, where your adventure is just about to begin. Man, they gave no shits when they were making this. Alright, sweet. We got two more gold. And we finally got that level up. So... What's the thing that we need to get first? Uh... Uh, probably... Yeah, damage for Granny. We need to get some D damage going on. Uh... We need to get some healing going on. Now that we have 10 gold, I think we can buy another person. Alright. So. Go for Rogue. So they have Poison. They have... Oh, that's funny. So they have kind of like a debuff DPS hybrid, sort of. They have the Mage. Who just... Freaking kills people. Which might be what we want. Um, we have the Druid, who does, uh, kind of, I guess they're just like a flex, but they have MP heal. Got Warrior, who I talked about before, kind of like a Paladin, but I don't think we really need them. Alright, so I think we're going to pick up a Mage, just because having that DPS would be really nice. Um, so who do we want? With the Nerd, uh, John gets, what, oh, he just has... His special skill is having lived longer. Alright. Uh, we got the pizza guy. Um, now, since I'm pretty sure this, this cost scales up a whole bunch, like, we can get the pizza guy, uh, you know, once we're well into the campaign and, like, we order a pizza, I'll make sure to do that, and then we order the pizza guy, and he just comes and plays. Get the jock. That doesn't seem very useful. Uh, we'll we can get a Wookiee. Uh... Nah, because that doesn't really synergize. Little brother. Rocker, Paris, PT, Hipster. I don't know if, how I feel about the damage range increase. I always hate RNG stuff like that, so. Flowers? Eh. And skill duration. Wait. Oh, maybe I should have picked him up for Paladin so that the shield lasts longer. Oh, whatever. Um, I guess we can use it. I mean, that would be nice. The extra plus one, plus one skill duration. I'm also pretty sure that I don't know. Maybe getting those stuns would be helpful. With Hinks. 
mean, like, we could always go with Mr. John. Or the little brother might actually be the best, just because that plus five to initiative means that he's gonna strike first. Mm. I don't think we care about the blacksmith upgrades for this guy, because he's not gonna be doing much. Uh. I guess we can. Actually, Hinks would probably be a good druid, because this is all. Like, um. What do you call it? This is all DOT stuff. Yeah, so maybe we'll go with a Hinks druid later, but let's get flowers as an age. Let's try this out. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's do it. Bread makes you fat. Uh, don't get fit started on that stupid shit. Alright. Hmm. Alright, so let's slay some rats, I guess. <clears throat> a girl approaches the group and cries out in a desperate voice. Is she cute? Oh, why is the grandma asking that? The least you can do is fill our adventure with beautiful girls. Actually, now that I think about it, these are all girls, too. Whatever. Fair enough. Uh, charisma is 19. There's a rat infestation in the village! Please, could you deal with it as fast as possible? The commoner girl is really frightened and you can see it in her eyes. You're not o you're helping not only her, but the whole village as well. Alright, so we gotta kill some rats. So we could- oh, not that. Uh, we could kill, just add five rats. But, uh, that seems like possibly not the best choice for right now. So let's just fight three, see how this all works out. Because they still don't have any spells, right? So these guys are all functionally the same, except for the paladin. Who now has the aggro pulling of it. Now we just kind of poke that. Uh, we don't need to restore anything yet. Yep, yep. This is as efficient. So we're gonna just punch that guy. Punch. Punch. Yeah, okay, so we could have actually probably fought five rats at once. That's okay. Or five gold. And flowers leveled up. So we can get her uh meteor. Which I think is probably oh, actually MP ten. We only have twelve magic. <laughs> uh so we probably <clears throat> only wanna just pick up the fireball. Which is still stupid. Unless we want to get the stream to like prepare, but I think that we can just go straight for Fireball, that's fine. And the interesting thing about this game is that, yeah, the, there are the things that you buy in the game with gold. Like, you can just go to the shop or whatever and buy a carrot, but you can go outside of the game and buy snacks like pizza, chips, cookies, whatever. You can buy some drinks, and these all provide like temporary buffs. But then you can also buy other objects, like the Burger King crown, which is like what I assume that stands for. Where you can fight seven monsters. Holy Grail, which we're going to buy so that we can get five people. Loaded dice, hourglass, all these sorts of things. And you can buy a new table. Uh, I'm gonna just stick with the wood table, I think, because I do like the plus five experience. I don't think that any of these are super, super useful. Versus just the straight XP gain, being able to level faster. Same thing with this, plus also the comic uh, store guy is just the best. Uh, the furniture left, this is something that we do have to buy because we currently have nothing in there. Or we can get the armor, arcade, shelf, police box, map. All of these things are kind of useful. Um, especially like if you stack the arcade with, or which one is it, like the telly, and like there's all these other items that boost stuff. But yeah. You can even change out the door, you can change out your carpet, you can, you can have a book on the table. Probably want a player's handbook or, or a monster like thing. Just, you know, that's always good to have when you're in a tabletop setting, just to make sure that you can always check rules and stuff. Um, yeah, and you can have a pet, Mr. Beaver, who looks very concerned. You can have a cute little dog, a dragon, a fish, or a Johnny Six, which I'm sure is a reference that I'm just not getting because I'm too young. You can change out the wall to, like, wow. That's actually kind of weird. But you don't see the wall often because you're so engrossed in the story. Like right now. So we're just going to rest up to get our MP back. Holy shit. We just went through MP like crazy. 
And so, we have to kill rats, but I think that we can kill a whole bunch of them. Uh, just for the extra XP. Alright, so... Three, eight, okay, so we probably want to kill these two guys so that then all our guys are grouped together in initiative and I can do whatever I need to do. So we're just gonna... Fireball! Holy cow, that actually did a lot of damage! Sweet! Freaking sweet! Right, so we're just gonna punch these guys. Okay, that guy takes damage and thankfully the game has mercy on you and just, like, does the damage before they even act, which is pretty nice. We're gonna leader strike this guy. Gonna punch that guy. Now that I'm out of uses, I'm, we're just gonna be punching people. Uh, well, I mean, I'm gonna have to heal anyway, so we can leader strike again. Uh, let's just see how the health gain works out, right? 15 health. She has 13, she has 15, yeah. Well, here, that's pretty nice. Let's just punch this guy to death. Mm, sweet! We got 9 gold. Actually, let me double check. At what point can we order the other thing? The goblet. Alright, at 12! Oh, sweet, let's just do that. Now, I always do buy the Burger King crown just because it makes it much more effective. But when you actually go in dungeons, I'm kind of curious, does it still spawn seven enemies without the Burger King crown? So we're going to go without it for a little while, and then I'll pick it up later just because it's kind of necessary. Um, who leveled up? You leveled up, so we can get... Mm, I don't think that will... I mean, like, this one just is probably going to be useful for a little while, so we can just pick it up. Uh, you need the Holy Shield at some point. So that you can holy shield and then leader strike up. All right. Oh shit! I was probably supposed to heal before that. Uh, and I forgot to read it again. Oh man, you're really right here. I was whatever. She quickly goes inside her house. What is this? A bathroom break? Yep. So many rat corpses. You're starting to earn respect from the villagers. Oh, and hey, I didn't even need to heal because they all leveled up. A lucky gal. Now we're gonna get you stream so that you're less useless. Uh, 80 gold for the next guy. All right. Well, probably gonna go for. Uh, what do we have? Warrior, druid, and rogue left. Well, rogue seems like it would probably be. I don't know. So I'm probably gonna pick up Hinks. Just because the skill duration thing is super useful if I'm understanding it with, like, uh, with Druid. Alright, because it's always good to have distributed healing and stuff in these sorts of games. And plus that Hibernate is going to be good because then I can just, like, just hit him as hard as possible. The crits. Like, maybe with a Warrior, like, we can just, just strike it and just, like, punch him super, super hard. Um, especially, yeah, which will be nice because I don't need to get passive, the taunt thing. Anyways, that's, uh, that's 70 gold down the line. Now we have to slay some bats. We almost saved the villagers inside that house. You're so mean. Deal with my monsters. Kill seven bats. Well, we'll fight five of them. That's probably enough. <laughs> Alright, so you're still useless, kind of. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 2, 3, 7, 8, 8, 8, 8. Well, what you may notice is that, uh, now I can just heal this up off, this is fine. But I'm always trying to shoot for the guys who are dividing up my initiative, uh, who are dividing up, like, my round of combat, and, you know, whichever one is least, so. I have two divisions right now. There's one at the end of the turn for six, seven, eight, and then there's one between my priest and my other two party members at two, three. And I think this is technically better, although I actually have no idea if that's true. Um, just because it means, like, it's just easier to think about and like to coordinate stuff in your head, I think. So I always try to do it if I can. Oh, we're just gonna leave this strike you again. Just, just yeah, our priest needs to heal, so we're just gonna 
punch you as Goldberry or whatever her name is. Who knows, she's Miss Goldberry. Goldberry. You're, you're flowers, right? Yeah, you're flowers. Okay. Do that. Nice, nice healing. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to heal after this, cause... Oh man, cause we're fighting tough enemies. Uh, I probably should have holy shielded there, that would have been smart, but... This is... Now that was actually dumb, because he was gonna die anyways. Uh, but... This is fine. We're learning. We're learning. We're, we're gonna get better at this, I swear to god. Because if we don't, this is going to be very depressing. There we go, just kind of poke them all, poke them all. There we go. Oh, dude, look at that EXP. Look at that 9 gold. Yes, yes, everyone up. Alright. Weakening. I don't actually remember what weakening does, what, like, the condition does, but we'll figure that out later. Uh, let's get the smite going. Just so that... Um, Cleric has some amount of DPS. Uh, you need to get... You need to start being able to actually tank. So I think we're going to Devotion. Uh, for one rank. And then let's get that, um... Magic 30? Yeah, that's fine. Let's get the AoE. Alright, so we can still keep on fighting bats. Yeah, let's fight... We can fight five more, yeah. This is fine. And now we'll see just how much more effective we actually are. Right? So, uh, yeah, so since there's 5, 6, there's the 8 in the, in the, in the middle, which divides us, but we actually don't want to do that. I forget if it's the AoE that the mage has, but a lot of AoEs are based on, like, hitting adjacent members and stuff like that. And... If that's the case, then we don't want to kill the dude in the middle, because then we can't target everyone at once, right? We could only target 1-2, or 1-2. We couldn't target, like, 1-2-3, something like that. But it looks like Meteor just hits everyone, so that was kind of pointless on my part. Let's just keep this going. Again, yeah, no, they're not dealing enough damage where I actually need to worry um, about anything. Let's just Meteor again. And let's just... Punch. Ow. Oh, we're gonna punch four, obviously, because then Mage can act instantly and just kill the other one. Alright, that's another 800 experience. Another 9 gold. whoop de doo Alright, quest done! You did it! Sweet. And almost ready, but not quite, so let's just rest at the end real quick. Alright. Oh, I gotta slay the bats again? Alright. The annoying bat sounds heard throughout the village are about to drive you insane when nearby old man speaks up. Old oh, man, where are the girls? The bats are eating all the village's food! They fly about every night! Well, that was like a terrible burning. You already know what must be done. We need to stock more food. Winter is coming. This game was made in 2013. I don't think that they understood what that meant. Very nicely done. Maybe you could look into the Batcave to avoid more attacks in the future. Alright. Bats everywhere. Alright, so I think we're just going to kill the five bats here, and then we can go to the Batcave to start doing stuff. Alright, so we're going to... Since it doesn't actually matter, I'm happy to just kill that bat in the middle. Uh, I would do want to start pulling aggro with this guy. Uh, they're all in one group. Matter. It's meteor again. Because meteor is the best spell. Like in actual D and D two, it's freaking sick. It's like a ninth level, but it does something super stupid. Like <laughs> it's like twenty d six fire, twenty d six bludgeoning, which makes sense because it's a ninth level. But my god. Is that thing hilarious to see happen? Alright, let's just do again. Kill almost everyone. There you go. Victory! I know this isn't exactly the most riveting gameplay, but I do hope that you're enjoying this sort of chill time. You know, for us to just kind of get to know each other a little bit. Hang out. Even though I'm mostly just reading what's on screen and not actually saying anything profound. 
Uh, what does that do? Raises duration by one, yeah. So once this thing actually starts having the duration last longer, then it'll be useful. Uh, how do you want more stream? I think that, yeah, we can just get, we can get stream up again. That's fine. Because this stuff is naturally going to be dealing more and more damage as stream goes up, because MP also increases spell damage. Anyways. Alright. As you can see, sometimes NPCs can have good tips for your quest or where to go next. Stay alert. We appreciate your willingness to help us. We really need all the help we can get in fucking default village. The king has been so weird lately. Everything is quite different from the way it was before. See what I mean? Let's continue on our adventure. Alright, quest done. Hell yeah, another 400 EXP. We are still so far. But we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Uh, so far from getting another thing. There's still another freaking quest here. I just slayed those bats! <laughs> Unless they want to do it again! Do you remember what the old man told you in the last task? Uh, no, I'm used to skipping all the chat and flavor messages in games. Actually real, though. Are those even necessary anyway? Then you should read more because sometimes you'll find useful tips and info. Whatever, what did the old man tell us anyway? The old man told you that the default village will probably be attacked again. You should head to the Den of the Devil and make sure they won't leave that place anymore. Alright, so we're gonna go to the Den of the Devil. I think this is over here. So travel in this game, I think you, to, you just like, pay some money and roll a d20 or some shit, right? Nope, there. I got the nice plus one because of flowers getting me her lucky gal. Cause she's just a lucky gal who apparently hates bread. Alright, so we gotta kill some bats. Now, first of all, Click on those things. They give you freaking crafting materials somehow. And I didn't realize this until I was like halfway through the campaign of the last game and I wondered like how am I supposed to get any better at this game. Uh, second thing is that this thing, notice it's not a bed anymore, it's a little tent. It's because now you have to roll a d20 and if you fail like, I don't know, probably like a perception check or some shit, um, you get ambushed in the night because you're in hostile territory. So we just gotta kill as many bats as we can. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I mean, they're fucking bats. So this shouldn't be, take that long, theoretically. We're just gonna fight these guys again. But now that, you know, Meteor is even more powerful, you notice, like, we're just gonna frickin' actually... Actually... I wonder if it's better... Because my spite isn't even that good right now, right? It only does... 8 to 10. I mean, that one did 9, so, I mean, yeah. We can just keep on punching these guys to death. And it's probably better to spread out, like, the MP, like, load, so to speak, you know? Uh, but in any case, alright, let's kill that guy. Or not. We could just not kill that guy, that's fine. Let me check the fucking numbers on that. Oh, no, never mind, I'm just stupid. Alright. Now we can just, can just poke him. Like, you can do a little smite as an extremely efficient uh, weapon. And I think I'll do one more leader strike just to kill that guy, and then we're just gonna poke him to death. But you notice, Gold Berry has got her MP still up after that last encounter, even though she uses spell twice. Part of it is because smite is very, very efficient, at least at these lower levels. It's also just that passive, like she gets MP steal, so whenever she hits someone she gets health, and she gets MP, and she gets freaking XP, apparently. So that's good. Alright, let's kill one more bat, let's just... Eh, let's just spawn three of them just to get through this, you know? Alright, so... We can probably kill him. Or not, we can also just not kill him. That's fine. Uh... We can fireball... Let's see how that looks. Pretty sweet. Yep, so we're just gonna punch. And then punch, right? You know, just avoid unnecessary damage. Uh, punch. I'm actually gonna heal. This will be a little bit faster for me to 
uh, when I'm like resting out in the field if I need to do that. Right, because it's that everyone recovers like at the same time. And so if one person's really hurt, you're just gonna take forever. But if everyone's only a little bit hurt or a little bit down in MP, then it'll be much faster. All right, uh, no, that this is good. I never actually. Yeah. Okay. So the weakening actually just reduces their attack. I'm just blind and can't read. Um. Which seems actually pretty good now that I think about it, because I don't think there's like resistances in this game at all. Like they, this is not a very complex one. I think I'm just gonna pick up the smite, and I need to pick up the holy shield because. It is just not worth it, unless you can get like three procs off it or something. Anyways, well done for now. What? Rubeback killed the misty fog around you became thicker and darker, but you never noticed. Before you even realized something was very wrong, a big shadow crept up on you, getting closer every second. Nice oh, shit. You stand there, waiting, wondering at what is about to appear in front of you. I have a bad feeling about this. I'm gonna give the granny a different voice. She's just gonna sound like a man, um, because I do not want to keep on doing that granny voice, because that kind of hurts. And the gold bear and the other ones are a little bit easier. Let's see how you handle this one. Some say kill or be killed. I guess that's what you should be thinking right now. Thanks, comic score guy. Okay, so we have a large fucker in the middle. Alright, so... I think we just need to smite the shit out of these side bats. Um, like we'll probably get one proc of Meteor off, uh, just to deal with that, and then we're gonna be, um, doing other stuff. So I can... Fuck. Okay though, I'm just gonna hit him. And now this is where the actual strategy comes in, right? We got the DPS, we got the tank, and we've got the healer. Holy Trinity. Alright, fireball him one more time. Leader strike, poke him real hard. And yeah, he dies from the fire. Sweet. Seven treasure found on me and straw. So I think that's actually equipment, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Yeah, so she's got a robe and a staff. This is um upgrade equipment, I think. So uh, I guess we should give it to our paladin. You just get a piece of straw on you. And you just love the web, so let's look at what we want to get. <sighs> Again, probably just... <laughs> probably just stream. Because we need to be able to operate for long periods of time. What is this up to? Four fireball damage, that's pretty good. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go for deep freeze. Cause it... Stunning, I think, is supposed to be really strong, if I remember correctly. Anyways. Alright! You defeated the Bat King. This will make other bats too afraid to leave here and reach the village. Alright, we didn't just, like, you know, cure it, we prevented it. Now you should return to Default Village. I'm sure they'll be happy to hear what you've done. Head back to Default Village, roll the d20. For some reason it doesn't cost money backwards. I don't really get what's up with that. But we're back. Uh, I think I'm gonna heal up, just in case there's another encounter like that, or I don't have the choice to heal. I hope that girl gives me something handy, if you know what I mean. Oh fuck, what was her voice? Cause this is, cause this is like Goldberg's voice. Goldberry's voice. Um, I hope that girl gives me something handy, if you know what I mean. Wow, that's disgusting. Ha ha ha, stop that. Hello, I'm Commoner Girl's boyfriend. Proven a good friend to all of us. Good friend to all of us. Hey, Peter. All right, and <laughs> level up again. Well, that was kind of pointless then. All right. Uh, what do we want to do? Raises minus three. Does that mean three extra or? Oh, sweet. Okay, yeah. Then that's definitely what we're gonna do. Uh, holy shield is probably good enough right now. Yeah, let's get more and more damage, more and more damage. And, oh shit, we have enough for the other person, so let's get him in. Um, Warrior Druid Rogue, so...
I guess we can go for Rogue. I've never really... So remember the last time I did Rogue, I just invested in Double Strike. I remember that very distinctly, because it was just like, DPS, right? Um... Uh, maybe we go for the Druid. Yeah, I think. Just for the flex for right now. Um, yeah. We can get Hinks just because that means that this lasts longer and this lasts longer. And I don't think that actually lasts longer. But that, but these two do. And these are the main things that you want as a Druid, I think. So, I right, just pick up Hinks. Hey, Council fans, suck this. Wiser words have not been spoken. Alright, and I also think I'm just gonna get the Burger King crown because having to fight two rounds of that kinda of sucks. Um, there we go. Do I have enough money for anything else? Oh, well, door's only 80, but I don't think I have anything for that. These uh, are expensive, these are also. Alright, so we're gonna travel! I guess. Now that you've become the default village heroes, you gain a lot of attention walking around the village. Random NPC. OMG, a hero among us. Hug. While drinking and having fun at the tavern, a piece of paper was dropped on your table. Make a roll check, maybe you notice who dropped a note. She rolls a one, even though she has the ability to frickin' not roll ones. Well, you think the note is a love letter from a, the barman. Ooh, saucy. You take the note and start reading. It says, something strange is hap- Oh, what's the- what's the good name? What's the, like, Hink's voice? Something strange is happening at Sunset Castle. King might be in danger. That's not his voice, but it's going to be. I'm sorry I can't reveal myself yet. Ooh, maybe this is the same person who uh, rescued us. Alright, so we're heading to Sunset Castle. Um... Is it wise? Because this guy's really weak right now. Um, but it's probably fine. Yeah, let's, we can just go. Alright, let's go! Alright. So if you fail the check, I think you just fight some people before you get going again, if I remember correctly. But, ooh, and we have the blacksmith. <laughs> right, so we have to upgrade him with the grindstones. And then, and then as he levels up, then we get, like, more and more weapons. We get an upgraded mall, we get upgraded... Just get longer fingernails, we get a nice little cool staff, like some chain mail. Actually, yeah, these things are the really important things. So, like, that is gonna be very useful, that shield. In any case. Actually, can I do this right now? Is that what that's Oh, so I can just do that right now. I just can't do the, um... The, uh, weapons. That's okay. We don't have the money for it anyways. As you get closer to the Sunset Castle, you have a terrible feeling. The strange feeling of evil emanates from within the castle. I guess we should continue anyway. The strange feeling stays with you as you walk up to the castle gate. Rolls dice. Guards have noticed your presence by the gate. Oh god, who is guard number one's voice? <laughs> oh look! It's the prisoners that escaped from Tower Prison the other day! Get them! Prepare yourselves for battle. Alright, so we gotta kill a bunch of castle guards. They're level 7. Bandits are level 9 for some reason. They all have a terrible, like, almost Hitler part going on there, so... We're just gonna fight... We're just gonna fight 3 and see how that goes. Um, because we do need to level up our druid. To make sure that he doesn't die, we're gonna... Leader strike immediately. And it's a meteor. And that's not really efficient, so we can like fireball. That's totally fine. All right, we get our like very nice do nothing attack. All right, we're gonna smite him. We're gonna holy shield. Keep that going. All right, now we can. Yeah, screw it, we can just be it, it's fine. Right, so now that guy is about to die. Or not, I guess. 
Man, these guys are really an upgrade. I guess they're level 7 versus like level 3 or whatever the other people were. Um, so this is going very poorly. I got weakened, which is why that only did 2 damage, I think. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to have all this guy. We're gonna have to do nothing. And then we're gonna have to... This is probably fine for right now. Smite. Keep drinking my water. Just keep on pulling aggro. <clears throat> He's probably gonna die to the burn, so I'm not even gonna worry. I'm gonna start chopping these guys to death. Maybe get a get a restoration off just in case. Let's start hitting them in the head. What do you wanna do? Probably gonna have to pull here anyways to get back the MP. So I don't care about this. <clears throat> yeah, that's the difference. Instead of 800, we get 1800. Yep, and he just instantly levels up to 3, almost to 4. So, <clears throat> first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do regeneration. Um, I think, right? I mean, that's so. God, Gaia's blessing is gonna be necessary later. But I think for now, um, we're, we're gonna go Feral Rage, first of all, just so that we can actually do something, and then we're gonna go Hibernate. Um, so that then... Yeah... I actually don't know if we have anyone who hits super, super hard yet. I don't know- I don't remember if spells actually do, um, do criticals or not. I guess we'll find out when we try it. Uh, let's get our MP up again. Because that is apparently absolutely necessary. I'm just gonna get our stuff back. Cool. Oh, there's even a bar, right, where you can... Yeah, swap, swap out your party if you want. Or if you want to look at them from the front angle. Look at these guys. Yeah, but I don't want them in the middle. I want... You know, I probably want Gra Granny in the middle. Because she's taking all the hits, and then... I have a trifecta. And Hinks can sit next to both there. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, I understand. There's a zombie eating... Brains, I guess, over there. Then we have the guy. Yeah, right. Yes, we're comfortable. <clears throat> What's in the shop, actually? I've never taken a huge look at it. So they got two healing items, which I suppose should be expected. Buy grindstones for $25 instead of mining them, I guess. Uh, but, and anyways, we're gonna kill four more castle guards. I think. Can we handle five? I think that Hinks is still too useless, to be quite honest. We're definitely not fighting seven. You might be able to fight four. You can fight four. Let's try this out. Uh, we're gonna start out. We're gonna actually start out, I think, by weakening this middle group. <coughs> then obviously we're gonna leader strike immediately to try and pull aggro. Uh, and here we'll figure out if spells can do critical. They cannot. Alright, so that was literally useless, but uh, we're learning here, we're learning. There we go, nice health restoration there. And then a holy shield. Alright. Yeah, it's just gonna feral rage. Oh, that's a. Yeah, it is for two turns. I, I think I am very confused for, for no reason. Alright, heals going on here. And leader strike for 7 to 9, I guess. Uh, I can't kill that guy. The 4 to 4. The 4 to. What? I, I am actually genuinely confused. I have no idea what's going on there. Um, Bleach should kill him. Because it says for two turns, but it does more damage when I 
proc it again. Uh, I guess we'll have to do a little bit of science. Uh, I thought you'd be dead with that bleeding by now. Well, now you're dead. Alright, well, let's see. Does this do bleeding? No, it doesn't. Okay, so the game just lost. Apparently. That, we're just gonna have to look at that. Um, obviously let's keep the heals going up. Alright, we're gonna do one-to-one -one damage. That's really strange. Alright, we're gonna set that guy to sleep just to kind of like stun him. We're gonna fireball three. Alright, and we're gonna try and get this guy to full health so that he doesn't actually die on us. Alright. And yeah, I mean, again, we're gonna have to heal anyway, so it doesn't really matter at this point. Just punch him to death. Alright! Oh, we got news. Uh, I guess we can give that to this guy. Because he does have the thing that gives everyone else MP. Oh, the bleed is for two turns. Oh. In that case, this was probably the incorrect play to make, but... We're just gonna roll with it! Um, we're not gonna invest in Hibernate anymore, because I don't have someone to actually take advantage of that. So the only one who hits is Granny, and she... I mean, she hits kinda hard. So I'm not gonna worry about that for right now. Uh, what I am gonna worry about is Regeneration. That's gonna be good. We're gonna try and get Feral Rage up as well. Uh, let's level up. Did you level? Nope, okay. We're gonna rest again. Alright. I guess defeating the guards was easier than I thought. You head to the king's room. Everything is quite different from your last visit to this room. It feels deathly cold, as if the heat from the sun never reached here before. A chill runs down your spine. You were so surprised by how the room looked, you didn't even notice the king wasn't on his throne. Looks like there are two thrones actually, but... Let's look around the room. Maybe the king was afraid of us and hid himself. A reputation around here is kind of low these last days. And the default village loves us. You, hear the, you search near the throne, and when you get close, the door to the room slams shut with a deafening BANG! You look back and the king is in front of the door, staring back at all of you. His eyes are glowing red. Ah, uh, cursed king, what's a good cursed king? You are not welcome in this castle. I put you in jail so that you would not butter my plans. Incompetent guards, I'll extinguish you from this world for good. Alright, so now we have to fight the fucking king. Um, so, plan here. We are going to hibernate the king so they calm. Oh, he's sleeping me. Wonderful. Okay. Alright, new plan. We are going to just kill the guards. We're not going to be able to kill number five in time. We should be able to. How much does damage this fireball do again? 14 to 16, 10 to 12. Okay, so we're going to spam meteors to get the guards dead. And we're going to do that. Full aggro. Um, we're gonna... Actually, I think we're gonna... We're gonna Regeneration. Our guy. And then we're gonna... So that our cleric can keep on smiting people. And then we're gonna... Meteor. We're gonna Holy Shield. And then that doesn't... You know, we don't get keep on getting... I can't speak. So we don't keep on getting killed. Then we get to work on this guy as well. Start smiting him. Uh, we should probably drop an AoE heal at some point, or heal him. Uh, we should. Pretty good. I'm just gonna hit him in the head. That bleeding should be enough. All right, let's get this going. Now I'm actually just gonna restore this guy because our paladin's nearly dead. And now we just spam fireballs until he dies. 
Oh sweet, that's super effective. Too bad our hibernation doesn't do anything. Uh, fail damage. And I forgot about our weakening. Is he immune to weak? Oh sweet. Now we take even less damage. Yeah. There we go. Very clean. Oh man, we got a dead pixel! Sweet! Alright, I think you- I think you should take the dead pixel. Uh, do that, that's fine. And everyone leveled up, so you... Yeah, we're gonna get that going. Feral Rage is good enough for right now. Um... We need to get better restoration. We're gonna have to upgrade that circuit panel because now it's basically useless. Uh, do I, need, I don't think I need more health. Um, I'm happy to keep on upping these leader strikes. Uh, more fireball damage. Just more blast. Oh, I forgot about the stun, but that's okay. <clears throat> Uh, let's upgrade the fireball, cause I... Actually no, let's upgrade the meter, cause I do... I use it probably the most. And so getting that going is probably good, but... It's... I do want stream to be like... Constantly working. Cause it also increases the damage of all of them, right? So... What? Thir 11 to 13, raise that. 11 to 13, oh it actually does all the same. Whatever, never mind then. It doesn't really matter. So here, oh, I can fight, I can fight the Curse King again if I want to. I guess we should be fine. The dark presence is gone. The king's eyes are no longer glowing red. This place now feels exactly like the last time you were here. Ugh. What is happening here? Was it a bad dream? Uh, who's that? That's my. Uh, we believe a dark presence took control of you in this castle. But it, apparently it's gone anyway now. The curse... is gone. Oh, what have I done? Thank you, knights of pen and paper. You saved me and my kingdom from the madness that overcame me. Uh, but what happened? A few months ago, my guards and I spotted a powerful mage in the forest. Don't ask me what I was doing there. He was performing a forbidden ritual using a huge black stone. We tried to stop him from doing anything. All we could do was break the huge stone into little pieces. Hint. Maybe there will be a quest to check for these little pieces. Keep that in mind. The game has just started. It's actually going to end pretty soon if I remember correctly. This is not a super long campaign. Unfortunately, we did not succeed. And the mage trapped us in that nightmare. I do not know where he is right now. All I remember is that he needed all four artifacts from our pen and paper world. We must not let this happen. Oh fuck, what was his voice? I cannot keep all of these in check in my head. Uh, uh, Lynx's voice. What is it? Uh, we're trying to look for. Oh yeah, that's right. We're trying to look for in this situation. I believe the villagers would be anxious to hear the good news. So here we go again. Alright, so now we gotta go to freaking default village, but I actually kinda do I have enough money. Ooh. So I think if I go for the pizza guy, oh, almost enough, almost enough for the pizza guy, but never mind that. We're not gonna worry about hiring another person for a little bit. Alright, let's go back to default village. Travel. All right, you arrive at Default Village and the Elder is waiting for you. <clears throat> Welcome back to Default Village, pen and paper knights. I hope you have some good news for us. The Sunset King told us what he knew. Oh fuck, that's <laughs> that's going into walking territory. The Sunset Castle King told us what he knew. He managed to uncurse him. That's not her voice either, but fuck it. I think. 
<laughs> That's some great news. I'm glad to hear it. I shall contact the king soon. Thanks for your help. Alright, we did the quest. Alright, I swear to god. If I ever get around to recording an episode 2 to this or something, like I, um, I will write down all the voices on a piece of paper so that you do not have to hear me do the exact same thing every single time we start, which is just, oh, what was the voice again? <laughs> Anyways, so, I'm personally a fan, uh, not a, eh, Rocker's okay, but I'm a fan of Little Brother, and I am a fan of Mr. John. Mr. John is just such a fucking baller. At the same time, the pizza guy. Right. Pizza guy. He... Not only will I get him and then also just order a pizza to, so that you know it's like canon, it's thematic. Um, he's, a, he's a fucking pizza guy. Right? You order a pizza and you say, hey pizza guy, you want to play Dungeons and Dragons? And he says yes and makes a fucking character. That's amazing. Um... Although, I think, I think I want to wait to see if there's another class I can unlock, right? Because I can, uh, I forget when the class unlock things are. But, like, if I can get, like, Shaman or Necromancer, that would be really freaking sick. Instead of just, like, Warrior or Rogue, you know? Anyways. Alright, what's our next? Well, I guess we did have to collect some small black stones. <clears throat> the Sunset Castle King told me what happened. I believe that since the stone was broken, the stone fragments must still be around. Monsters in the forest might be carrying some of them. The little stones glow at night and they probably pick them up. You should go to the ancient jungle to investigate. That's not a forest, that's a jungle. That's like an entirely different climate. I hear that place is a bit dangerous. I'm sure you're good enough to handle this task. Alright. Ancient jungle. Where the hell is that? That's down here. Level 6. Oh, we're fucking ready to go. Apparently no threat, although there is a, a door in the middle there that isn't my door. That's my door. So I think there's a door. Yeah, it's like that door. But just in the game. And I don't think it actually does anything, sadly. I... I don't know who has the drops, though. I mean, it, it... <clears throat> Maybe we don't need to worry about it? Is anything clickable here? No. Okay. Oh, then let's... Let's go fight a few cobs. Flanked, maybe, by giant grubs. Let's do that. That'll, that'll be interesting. Especially since these guys probably resist nature damage, so... Um, yeah. That was a lot of damage. For what shouldn't have been. Um, but I'm not gonna ask too deeply about that. Actually, I'm starting to think maybe this was a bad idea. Okay, we're gonna have to... We can get to work here. Yeah, this is a bit of a problem. Uh, we can do smite for his own health. Just pray that. I don't know that they had freaking healing spells. Alright. I am meter again. That is an <laughs> unnecessary move, sadly. Why do you keep on healing? I am trying to kill you. Please die. Let's just keep our tank going. Uh, attack number seven. I think we might be able to get him. Or something close to him. Ow, ow. <clears throat> we'll meet here one more time just to kill that. 
so that then... Oh, God, we need to heal. Yeah, maybe this was a little bit much. Because uh, I forget that... I think that cops are, like, level 9. Which is... Kind of high. But... But we're doing it, we're doing it. Alright, fuck it, at this point, I'm not gonna try dealing with that piece of shit. I guess that's his death sound. And he's dead! And now I'm just gonna punch this guy in the face. I guess I can fairly use this guy since he has so much MP. There we go. That took a while. Well, I got all my black stones. Can someone order a pizza? Well, about that. Not quite yet. We can't order the pizza yet. That guy's blessing, I think, is going to be very useful. Uh, I think we do want to get the circle of healing going because there were times where I would have liked to heal everyone, but I couldn't because it only did four. I think that, yeah, just, battles are not going to go on much longer for like four or five turns, so I think that's fine. I'm dealing enough damage, I don't really need the flash heal because I have two healers in my party. I'm just going to tank up a little bit more. Uh, you haven't quite a lot. But I can just give you a... Actually, how much is it? Only ten. Let's drop it just in case. Um, but we're not gonna rest and heal because that might be bad. Ah, uh, no, I'm a dummy. Because I'm not gonna fail that check because it's a plus one. Alright, that's okay. We made it! Good job. Let's ma hope we can track that mage based on what these stones can show us. Alright. <clears throat> What? Is he going to zoom in and out like those TV shows and find out who did this? What are you talking about? Ha! Huh. No, this is a fantasy world different from the TV world. Focus, please. The Elder checked the stones but didn't succeed in discovering anything like he thought he would. I'm sorry, I could not track the mage with these stones. You should try something different. Maybe you'll find some clues out there. You should go to Journey Village, you might get some info there. The, the Elder found nothing. <laughs> this is a good quest screen. 12 gold, 1,000 AXP, fucking toothpaste tube. I love it. Also, you leveled up. Uh, so we're gonna get that fireball going so that... Actually, we already kind of have single target, so I'm just gonna jack the shit out of Meteor, I think. I'll just get a drink. Everyone, if you're watching, all, none of you, just go take a drink. Maybe go for a little stretch, right? Well, maybe like an hour in. I haven't really been keeping track of when I started recording. Just stretch! Nice little bit of water. Alright. <clears throat> Let's get back into it. Uh, maybe I'll go for like 20 more minutes. Because again, I have no idea when I started recording. I think... It was maybe an hour ago. It might have been only 50 minutes ago. It might have been an hour and a half ago. I don't really know. But we're gonna just keep on going for a little bit longer. Alright, <clears throat> so we have to go to Journey Village. You see these guys later, I think, but they don't matter right now. Yeah, no, I don't think... Because I don't really want a warrior or a rogue. Because the warrior... That isn't useful. That... That is useful. But I already have the priest for weakening stuff. Um... Hard skin is like a rock. I don't know, this is... 
like, I already have my tank, right? And this and this are both, like, tanky things. And I don't really need the rogue because, I don't know, fuck rogues. I'm sorry if you're a rogue player, but I, I don't like you. Um, so we have to go to Journey Village, so we have to go into the ancient jungle, and then out into the village. There's a forest temple there. That's kind of cool. Um, are we high enough level? Yeah, I mean, we can always just go to Journey and then just kind of grind a little bit around there. Anyways, survive the trip through the jungle. Survive the trip there. Oh, wait, I actually know what we can do. Yeah, we can do some of this shit. Um... With our money. Uh, let's get a sh... That's fine. That could be really useful just for the health, and then the regeneration is really nice. Uh... Let's go for the cultist herb again, just so that I don't have to... 35% chance! Are you... Okay, no. Are you actually kidding me? No. No, we're not... We're not... I'm not playing with those odds. <laughs> Knowing my luck especially, that's just not happening. Uh... We can get a couple grinds going. Just to kind of get our health up. Can I sell that? Okay. I mean, I'm not going to use the toothpaste tube. <laughs> to be quite honest, I have no idea why that's even offered, but... Oh, they have little, like, equipping things. Maybe I should be getting this stuff. Yeah, this might be... really useful now that I think about it. Um... I don't know, we'll see kind of what I think I need, maybe. Like, you know, I'll... So first of all, blacksmith, take... Take my grindstone. You need one more. I will just fucking buy it. <laughs> no, it's not going to support our campaign. Uh... Yay, he does a little dance. And we're good to go. No, unless there's something good here that we might want. I do like the life steal. Yeah, what is with this 40% chance? I'm already shelling out 100 gold to do this crap. Ah, I swear. Anyways, we made it. Yay, we're on the right path. Yay, another 1,000 experience for no reason. Um... Experience? I don't think so. We can just keep on going. All right, let's get some sand roses. Spot a woman that has a certain sadness on her face. You try talking to her to see what is going on. Hey, woman, could you tell us what happened? You look sad. Hello, adventurer. It is my brother. That is an old woman who was killed a while ago. This mage everyone says is trying to perform a forbidden ritual. Looks like this is a part of the ritual. Anyway, he loved those sand roses that are spread all over the sands of time desert. They can't really gather any of them because it's too dangerous. I believe we can do that for you. Alright, alright, let's go to sands of time. Actually, I can I just not do that right now? Because that seems a little dangerous. Flying dice. I don't even want to think about that. Ah, fuck. Okay, so this is what I mean. You failed the roll, you get attacked. And there are three scorpions, and I have no idea how tough they are because they didn't set up the battle. So, uh, we're just gonna play it safe. Weaken. We're gonna punch the dude on the right, I guess. And we're gonna fireball his ass as well. And then also, you know, Rage. This is taking three different types of damage. 
Actually, only two, but, you know, you know what I mean. He's taking two DOT and he's weak. Holy f What the hell just happened there? Alright. Alright. Everything is under control. Everything is under control. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man, that was bad. For a second there. Hit this guy because he's not weak anymore. Yeah, just keep on the fell rage. I guess none of them are weak anymore. But we can, like, you know. This guy's nearly dead. Did you set me on fire? I, I, I'm, I'm still not sure exactly what that did. But, um. Anyways. Alright, he should be dead. So we're just gonna fireball this guy. Oh, yeah, I should be using the stun thing. What am I talking about? Oh, uh, it's restoration. Keep us going. So yeah, let's see that. Deep freeze. He's stunned because I think he can't do anything. Yeah, no, he just takes the DOT. I should be using that more often. But here we are. Oh, hey, level up. Moving Doom, Flame Sting, and then there's a Sand Sack. Which is named something different, obviously, in this game, which is like, like Hacky Sack. Um, let's rest up for a second. Just because I do want this guy to be at full MP. That's close enough. Alright. <clears throat> I think that we can fight a Sand Sack. A flank. Oh! I didn't just want to fight him, but... I guess we're just fighting him, that's fine. Uh, yeah, no, I wanted to fight him with some other guys, but... Click the wrong button. Oh, well. Owie! That hurt! That really hurt! What the fuck is your problem? Is it, is it, how did that pause? No, it's just... Oh, There we go, he's dead. That's not what I wanted to do. But hey, we got a sand rose out of it. Um, I do want to play it safe. Oh! Thank you, flowers. Right. Do that. And then let's add in a bunch of moving dunes. Let's have a really hard battle. So we're gonna just immediately leader strike uh, one of the dudes on the flanks. Right, because we don't care about these guys as much because they're weakened. Uh, I'm gonna set up a regeneration. Just gonna drop some meteors. Oh, the dunes resist magic! Oh, that's freaking wonderful! That is actually exactly what I wanted to see. Um, Oh wait, he was supposed to holy shield. That, that, that was dumb of me. Oh, we can just do that for now. Now you holy shield. <laughs> it's actually tactical, so that I get more out of my um, out of my threat level raises. You know, 
anyways. I should kill him. Should be dead by the end of this turn. Yep. There it goes. Uh, yeah, everyone needs healing, so let's just circle heal. Oh, I was... Dang it, these guys aren't weak anymore. That's a bit of a problem. Not too bad, but I should be able to make it. Oh, man. It's been a long day. How have your guys' days been? Hope it's been good. Vince, I'm pretty sure that you're gonna watch this. If nothing else, then out of morbid curiosity. So, you know, how's your day going, buddy? Research going well? I hope so. Hopefully you're on the video for as long, because I am- This is probably pretty boring, because I'm just the same fucking turn-based combat with minimal animations over and over again. But, you know what? This is what I wanted to do. Fuck. That's actually kind of a problem. Okay, uh... Uh... Okay. Um... <laughs> I didn't expect him to get hurt! Okay, uh, I guess I'll just regeneration. <laughs> I don't know, in case anyone is wondering in the future if they ever see this, because they certainly won't see it at the time of recording. Stuff is going better on the identity theft crisis. Um, like, it's not going well, but, like, <clears throat> we're, we're making progress. Like, we set up a, properly set up an account, we're setting, like, everything is just getting, we're making progress. Like, you know, we're going through the steps that you need to go through. Damn, kill that fucking sand dune. Holy fuck, we're almost all dead. How the hell is that motherfucker not dead yet? Alright. Ooh. Uh, oh, that tickled me a little bit. I'm just gonna use that. Come on. Come on! Alright, there we go. That was a little bit needlessly difficult, but <clears throat> we did it. quite leveled up. <laughs> That's a little bit annoying. But I think we did it. Let's pull out to... I don't know. I actually... We probably should keep on training here just because, like, you know, you see this. This isn't good. <laughs> a little TARDIS in the back. I didn't even notice that. There's the cubes that are off in the distance over here. Um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna... Yeah, no, we can- we can go back, but then we're gonna finish, um... What do you call it? We're gonna finish, uh, grinding up a little bit. <coughs> I'm just gonna- everyone's just gonna rest. You know, we're probably all gonna level up from the quest completion. You did it, thank you so much! Holy hell, my voice is tired. Wasn't hard at all! You have some difficulty finding the woman's brother's grave. The description she gave you was not good enough. Maybe you should look in the Sands of Time desert. Oh, we're going back! We're going back, I guess. Alright, that's fine. And then, <clears throat> don't even bother. Um, actually, I'm curious. What can you fight here? You can fight a cactus, a snake, or a giant bug. I'm... <laughs> Man, those cactuses look silly. Uh, let's do a little fighting out here just to grind up a bit. Against these guys, maybe? 
Uh... Yeah, let's just keep this going. Anyways, <clears throat> so what was I doing right? I was saying hi to Vince. I can have everyone how their day's going, let them know about the whole identity theft thing. Um, yeah, that's kind of all that's going on with me. You know. Life's sucking a little bit, but we're making it work, right? I'm actually very excited, because I'm going to be... Well, first of all, it looks like my character's about to die. But I'm going to be <clears throat> chaperoning for a camp that I really like. This is a camp I went to like every year starting like in middle school all the way through high school and so now I'm getting a chaperone that that's pretty fun for me. It'd be pretty nice to you know give back to the organization like that. I'm looking forward to it because it it's honestly mostly just like the counselors just get to dick around and then have that count as like entertainment for the boys, so that'll be good uh, for the children. Yeah, that's that. Also, I would just like to apologize, kind of preemptively, I guess, um, for any, like, sound issues. It's the first time that I'm recording on my own. Everything else has been recorded from Vince's end, and this is my first time using, like, OBS, so hopefully it turns out fine. It's, like, I tested it a couple times, it just outputted a, like, a .mp4 or something that, like, seemed to work fine, so hopefully this all works out. Especially since I've been going for at least an hour at this point, if not more. Um, yeah, and hopefully, um, because I left my desktop over where I'm going to college. So, like, I'm, I can't, I'm not, like, the reason why I'm not playing Deep Rock Electric is because that game just runs constantly at sub-10 FPS for me on this laptop. Because this is not supposed to be a gaming laptop, this is supposed to be a freaking computational one that has, like, integrated graphics or something. Hopefully this one turns out alright. Sweet, everyone leveled up. That's kind of what I wanted. <clears throat> and then hopefully, once I get on my desktop, I can start recording stuff there. I can suddenly see my POV from, like, Deep Rock Galactic or something. Or I can record some other stuff I got. Because that's the computer that I have, like, my, uh, my GameCube emulator set up there. So maybe I'll play some stuff like that. I'll play some stuff for you guys. Or, I don't know. It'll be fun. It'll be interesting. We'll, like we'll see. We'll see what's gonna happen. Oh, that's so nice. But I don't. I do not. Speak guys plus some going because that'll be really, really valuable. Oh yeah, that's right. Everyone has one. Uh, so let's get this fireball up. So that just doing more. Get. I will just get one rank of flash heal just to make sure that we don't die. Uh, I do like the weakening. We do need that going at some point. All right, uh, let's just finish this quest, and then I think I'll call it a part because I've been going for a little while. Go through the sands of time desert. Ah. Uh, Oh shit, is this like the wave boss thing that's gonna happen? I remember it happens at some point, but I don't remember if that's right now. <clears throat> um, okay, so we just gotta be careful. Uh, make sure that everything goes smoothly. Uh, remember, I can't actually use any of my magic because these guys resist it for some godforsaken reason, so I'm just gonna have to kind of poke him. Uh, hopefully, he dies. Started on that, right? Yeah. And if this is actually a wave battle, then I definitely don't want to pop my holy shield because cost seven, right? I think. God, I cannot tell how much I'm getting that, but I am not at enough uh, to pop justify popping it now. All right. 
<clears throat> there we go, we got a nice bronze medal. Uh, which I guess I will get to. This guy. Ah, oh, shit, I should have healed. All of a sudden, you step on something rigid. You look down and see the inscription. Woman's Brother's Grave. Ha! <laughs> okay, this is the grave. You place the sand roses on his grave and hear a strange sound. Rolling. Oh, if only I had my set of dice on me. Then I could, like, make this way more immersive. In any case, the grave trembles. You step aside. You're all terrified by the loud sound. You woke me up! Thanks! Uh, so your name is- Oh yeah, this is the old lady that's just now a dude, because I cannot remember her voice. So her name is, we just know you by with a woman's brother. I never knew my name. I shall return home and talk to my sister. She thinks you're dead. Are you sure? Wait, uh, wait. What happened? I got cursed by the black mage. I remember someone was controlling me and then I was put to sleep like I was dead. You woke me up when you brought that sand rose to my grave. It reminded of my sister. That's not grammatically correct. It reminded of my sister and awakened me. Well, we'll be eternally grateful. Hey, we got an attack elixir. Slay some stuff, or ah, I think we're doing fine on EXP. All right, hurry up to Journey Village. Uh, the woman's brother awaits you there. He has a lot to talk to you about. Good to know. He seems so weird. I'm curious about it. All right, let's go back. No, I said I'd do it after I buried her, but this seems like a package deal, you know? Like, we have to at least see to the end of this, and then, like, once we're done with the woman's brother, and he tells us to go to some other random place. You have arrived at Journey Village and hurried to listen to Question Mark's story. Hey, Question Mark! We have come to find out about what happened! Hello again! Are you ready for a story? It all began some nights ago. A powerful mage tried to get me, the Forest Temple's guardian, to work with him. You're in the fucking desert. How are you the Forest Temple? So the mage enchanted you and stole the artifact. I think that the Forbidden Ritual needs all of the other temple artifacts. If he manages to do it, he'll be powerful enough to travel between worlds. These artifacts are known as the pen and paper artifacts. I have so much to do, be careful. Fine. Alright, now we're allied with someone who doesn't even know their own name. Alright. I think I'm gonna call it a part there. This has been Knights of the Pen and Paper Plus One Edition, possibly episode one. I might record another episode tonight if I'm feeling like it. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I There wasn't a whole lot of talking about life and stuff, mostly just about the combat system. So hopefully that wasn't too dull, because it is kind of, it is repetitive. But this game, you know, it feels <laughs> like there's something about the low effort, like, well, not low effort, but like, you know, the, the pixel art and the kind of like the 8-bit music and this whole campaign where it's built, where it's a little bit self-aware, but also like very campy in its own way, like the, the artifacts of the pen and paper, right? Like, it, 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 someone had fun making this, you know? And there's a guy who, who played D&D &D, like in high school and stole through college, like, you know, this, this is fun. This is a good time. So, anyways... Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you, I guess, possibly in five minutes if I decide to record more. Uh, thank you very much.